So for those who don't know, I guess my name is Robert, and DJ got that. <laughs> Jeff and I met 17 years ago in apprenticeship school. Uh, pretty much we instantly hit it off. He had a nice shiny red blazer in the parking lot. And I was like, who is this dude? I was like, oh shit, he's like 19. I'm like, <laughs> like, okay. So we started BSing and stuff and everything. And we're like, okay, you know, we're going to be boys. So Jeff invited me to his crew, you know, started going to lunch when my crew flunked out. Probably a good thing. <laughs> so from then on, I introduced him to my friends, you know, I had, as my wife would call it, the elderly fraternity. <laughs> you know, we're all going through apprenticeships programs and whatnot, and I was like, okay, well, you know, I'll save some money moving with the boys. I dragged Jeff down to random places with me. He would get lost, call me. I said, one time he called me, and he says, I'm in a train yard. We're, in, we're at Oregon State, and I'm like, there's no train yards here. What in the hell, where in the hell is this dude? So I'm like, where is it? I literally, I'm like, oh, there was like a, a caboose. <laughs> I'm like, that must be it. So I dropped what I was doing, rescue my boy. You know, we stumble back and have a good time, you know, back at the house. You know, never leave a man stranded. This happened a few times. We've been lost in the woods, in the snow, you know, looking at maps. Like, where are we? I don't know, four feet of snow, but we got each other. <laughs> so both of us, we were in, you know, it was kind of tough because uh, we had to decide where our career paths would go and different things, you know, with Tice, you know, whatnot. <laughs> you know, we all had ideas of what we wanted to do, but we always talked to each other and made decisions, you know, because we really enjoy working with each other, and that is a big influence on, you know, what we do. So let's get to Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> As most of you know, Sarah is feisty and can talk trash with the best of them once you get out there. <laughs> she instantly became one of the boys, basically, if you know what I mean, at the shop. Flash forward a bit, and uh, Jeff, he met Sarah, but it was all business at first, you know? Yeah. It's really, no, it's really hard. <laughs> it was, it really was. I even asked him about it. I said, you know, I was like, hey, you know, you were working with that cute apprentice. What is, you know, what's up? And he's just like, oh, well, you know, he's, he's like, I just kept it, you know, this is like, it's nothing to it. So <laughs> eventually, all three of us ended up on the same job. And I noticed a little bit of flirting going on, you know, and I'm like, okay, you know. So I happened to take a different way home from work. And I stop for gas. And what do I see? Jeff's red pickup driving down the road, and there's someone all snuggled up next to him. And I'm like, what? And so I'm pretty sure Sarah made eye contact with me. And I looked, and I was like, OK, OK. So you know, I talked to him the next day, and I, what I called the secret love club was born. <laughs> I knew a few other people in this room, I think, knew about the situation. And Jeff and I, we kept the secret pretty good, but, you know, ah, Sarah. <laughs> the club became pretty big at one point. And so eventually, the club was so big it outnumbered the people who didn't know about the relationship, and so it became public. <laughs> so anyway, I'm glad we made it to this point. I'm honored to be part of this day, and I want to be part of the future. <laughs> so I'd like to make a toast to Jeff and Sarah. Jeffrey, do you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to Sarah in marriage? I do. And Sarah, do you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to Jeffrey in marriage? I do. By the power vested in me by the state of Oregon, 
It is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. Jeffrey, you may kiss your bride. I am pleased to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jeffrey and Sarah Young.